Now then people, and today I am going to make a video on how to upgrade the firmware on your Anbenic model. Here I have the RG351P and we're going to do this without using a PC. Now you are going to need a couple of things if you plan on doing this with your phone and that is an SD card adapter, a run of the mill USB stick, an adapter to plug the USB stick into your phone and an SD card. Preferably a better model than the one I've got. That's the one I received with the Ambernic and um, yeah, I, I tend to use a better SD card. So let's begin. So what you want to do next guys is Google Amber Alec and it'll take you to this website and if you need any information it's got detailed guides FAQs everything you need to know is actually on here it's really really good so you go on to the download spot you do pick which of the Ambernic models you actually have and then you download the file and now what we're going to need to do is download an app off the Google Store um, to unzip this file now i had to google several well i had download and try several different ones uh for some reason my own file manager on my phone didn't unzip the file i had to uh, download easy unra unzip and zip and this one will unzip the file and give you the image file for the amber elect disk image then what you're going to do is download an app called etchdroid because this is the only one that i found that could actually paste the image onto an sd card but this is why you need the sd card adapter that you stick into your charging port because it won't do it through the sd card slot on your phone you need the adapter you need to plug it in and then you need to use this app to put the image onto the sd card so as you can see i've already selected the disk image i shall plug in my sd card reader with the sd card in Select this and this down here and it will start to write. It will tell you the USB device has been removed but it hasn't. I would just ignore that and restart your phone after it's written the disk image onto the SD card. This can take a little while so be patient and when I come back the SD card, the image will have been written onto the SD card. Okay guys, so what you want to do now is obviously unmount the USB storage from your phone, which we have done here. And then you want to get the SD card. Plug it into the Ambernic device and turn it on. There's the Amber Elect logo. We'll just wait for it to power up. It takes a little while the first time you do it, but after this it gets better, faster. Okay, and it's finally loaded. Don't worry if it takes a bit of time. It took a good few minutes there. I had to uh, stop the video and restart it here. So now what you want to do is get your USB stick and its adapter so you can plug it in to the top. 
And I'm not going to tell you how to put ROMs onto the USB stick. I'm sure you can figure it out. You just plug it into your phone and drag them from your downloads onto the USB stick. So now we go into Tools. Go to Mount, Unmount USB. Okay, and it is mounted. Then you want to go to File Manager. And on the left, we have my SD card. And on the right, you have the files on the Ambernic. So what you need to do is find the one that's right for you for whatever ROMs you've got. I have Pine Creek, which is a recent Game Boy Color game. Then press on the file, click move, and exit out of here. Press start, update game list, and that should have loaded up the Game Boy Color section. And there we go. I have put a ROM onto my RG351P. I have updated the firmware all without a PC. So I hope this helps those of you who are poor like me out. Because, uh, yeah, I was having a bit of trouble when I first got it. All right. Cheers, guys.